All right, guys. Um, we're in the game now. Uh, definitely didn't just mess up and only lead, or only bring three mons. But uh, we know we're leading Torn. We're just gonna hop right into it. Um, notably, he brought the Delphox over the. Um, uh, he brought Delphox instead of the Sneasler, which is just fine. Like we don't really, uh, we don't mind not fighting Sneasler. We just don't know that much about uh, the Delphox. The issue here is that he's leading Overquill, and so we see it, uh, because we, because I accidentally just loaded in. Um, so Torn's gonna do good damage to it. Like, it just does good damage to Overquill. Uh, and we did see that it is, uh, in Tim. Uh, like, our, uh, our Bleakwin Storm is doing a lot of damage here. Like, it's doing 65 uh, his gunk shot will do a lot if he is, like, very offensive, but it cannot kill. Uh, so we're just gonna th go throw off a bleak wind storm. Uh, we miss. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, tough start. Uh, bar barrage. He's going for his poison. Okay, he doesn't get the poison. Dope. Uh, that's good for me. So we see it's barb. Uh, I gotta see the damage on that. I don't know. I actually don't know enough about Barb Barrage. It's like a yeah. It's base sixty with like a fifty percent chance to uh to poison. So it did how much damage? It did uh forty. It did uh a hundred and forty one. So that is a max attack adamant max roll actually. Uh, so we're gonna U turn out here. No reason to to stay in on that. You know? Um, yeah, so it's like max tech admin, or maybe it's like banded, but I don't think it's banded. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna go into our Tyler Louise. We don't really care if it gets poisoned as much, and we get our rocks up. I don't want to go come in on like on a, on a random crunch. Uh, so we're gonna go on Tyler Louise here. Yeah, we don't want to get crunched up. Uh, this will probably reveal what he is. Uh, yeah, so he throws off crunch. Okay, yep. Uh, that was a good middle ground for us. Uh, crunch. Uh, Barbarage, Crunch. And we haven't seen an item either. Uh, which is good, you know. Um, I kind of want to just throw off a... Uh, how much does a Body Slam do? With Tinglu. Body Slam does do 35, which isn't bad damage, you know, at this point. I kind of want to get the rocks up, though, and force him to do something about it. So we're going to throw up rocks. Toxic, okay. So he values this mod being weakened, which I understand because of Delphox. Delphox looks really good versus me now. Um, but it's good that we get our rocks up for it. Uh, maybe not for it because of Magic Guard. But it's good that we get our damage. Oh, uh, that we get this off. I'm okay with taking like a little bit more damage uh, from the Overquill here. I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. Uh, so we're going to throw off one Body Slam here. Because I don't think he stays in for an Earthquake at this point. I think that would be insane if he stays in for an Earthquake. So maybe we Ruination first. Actually, I like that. Let's Ruination. So he spikes last. Okay. Man, he does not value this mod whatsoever. Oh my gosh. At all. Uh, we land our Ruination, which is good. Uh, that brings it down to half. And, uh, yeah. So, it, it's... T it's we, we see it said. It's Barbarage, Crunch, Toxic, and Spikes. So, uh, yeah. We'll take a little bit more, but that's okay. We have so much HP that we don't really mind all that much. I am going to throw off an Earthquake here. Uh, he could just see that coming and uh, make the play into Thundee, which would be fine uh, for us. He goes for a second layer of spikes. Okay, so th this, this thing's just dead then. Um, it was probably Sash then. Uh, oh, no. Oh. Uh, it should still die at this range. Yeah, okay. Ting kills uh, Quill. Which is nice. Uh, we no longer have to worry about uh, one of the mons that it's really hard for our um, our uh, our G King to, to switch in. So, uh, we take this. Uh, I can see Blastoise coming out here. I can also see Bex Caliber. Uh, I think Bex Caliber makes a lot of sense if it's if it's boots. If it's boots, I can see Bex. If it's not boots, I see Blastoise. And he probably goes for a spin. So does Stoice. Okay, cool. Um. Blastoise really quick, just seeing the damage. Oh, we do 55% to this guy. Um, I kind of want to just go Smelly Jolt here, though, and get my Terra off. Um, did it take rocks? It took rocks. 
Um, so it's not boots spin then. Maybe we just hit it. I think we might just want to actually hit this thing on the spin turn. Uh, what does a scald do to me? Uh, cause we just need to see how well- we, we take a scald really well from Blastoise too. So like, I don't mind getting the damage. It might just be Resto Chesto though. Uh, considering he threw it out so willy-nilly into this guy, I think we can afford- We're gonna make the Smelly Joel play. I really- I really don't think he's shell smashing in the face of Ting Lu this early. Uh, because I could be Whirlwind. I could easily be Whirlwind on this set. Uh, Earthquake also does does too much damage. So I think he's going to spin here. I don't think he smashes. And he does spin. Okay. Uh, spin. Uh, we do not get the para. Uh, which is fine. Yeah, okay. It's lefties. Yep, leftovers. And uh, let's just get our Terra off here and click uh, Volt Switch. He has no immunity. He did not bring anything for this. So, uh, yeah, let's just get out of here. Uh, and this should always gain us some momentum here. We should always gain momentum off of this play. Which is good. Uh, I don't really know what he wants to pivot into. Let's see. Uh, having to play the whole game with two spikes up is going to be annoying because we did not bring uh, Rapid Spin on our uh, Quaquavel. But, like, this should be fine, right? He stays in. Interesting, he's staying in. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to get our Terra Water off here, and we're going to get a, a clean little Volt Switch off. Uh, this is going to do so much damage. Maybe he's flip-turning, but, like, then he just gets... Oh, I like the little animation. He cooks Surf. Okay, cool. That is no damage. And, uh, yeah, this Volt Switch is just, just going to be good. Wow, that did no damage. Wow. Okay. Uh, Blastoise to... Or, or Belly to Blastoise. Volt Switch should have done 50. So this thing's like... Mag oh, that, that's zero bulk. If it's 252... It's Spudef. Is what we're seeing. That this mon is most definitely a Spudef guy. Um... We could probably go Tom Cruise in and get a bulk up off and just start hitting stuff, right? Or maybe we just go for like a close combat. I kind of like that. I kind of like going into Tom Cruise and, and clicking probably like Aqua Step. Because it's, it's Rabbit Spin Surf. Blastoise just doesn't get anything to hit Tom Cruise. And that's the thing. That, like, that's why I'm so dead set on going to it right now. If it's just max HP, how well does Close Combat do? Quack Close Combat does 50 to 60. I kind of want to just go Tom Cruise in here. I'm going to go Tom Cruise in. We're going to take a little bit of raw, uh, spikes, which is kind of annoying. We take, what, 12%? Or is it like 16% or something like that? Yep, we see the we, we, we see the uh, the leftovers. And he could expect us to spin here. Uh, he could very well expect to spin here. I'm going to click Aqua Step, I think, because he's not in CC range fully. But Aqua Step would put him into it, and it would cover any swap to, uh, swap to Thundee. But, like, honestly, how much does Thunderous take? Because, like, if Thunder just takes it, or doesn't take a, a Close Combat very well... Actually, Close Combat just does enough, I think, that, like, it's worth just clicking it right now. And just, like, putting a hole into the team. What does Comfey take? Comfey, uh, doesn't take enough. Maybe Aqua Stepping is better, then. I'm gonna click Aqua Step here. I, he might just stay in. He looks Flip Turn. He is faster. Wow. Uh, okay. So it's Flip. Uh, but we made the right play then. This is unresisted. This flip turn is unresisted. Or sorry, not flip turn. This aqua step is unresisted. She almost has to go into Comfey. Look ma, no legs. That is the Thunderous. Alright, we predict the Thunderous correctly. And we're gonna get nice damage on that guy. Look at that damage. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. wow. Oh, uh, we outspeed now, but I don't want to catch a... I, I really just don't want to catch a... Um, a Thunder Wave here. And this is just a good way to scout Thunder Wave. It's just to go to uh, Tyler Louise. Because now it's in Body Slam range. So we're going to go straight into Tyler. Nope. No, we take that all day, actually. Wow. That's really good damage. Um, I'm surprised the flip turned that he was faster. But, hey, that works out in our favor, actually. Because we were we were, uh, on, we were really slow, I guess. I'm, I'm already 200 speed. 
So he's like max speed Blastoise then. Why is he so fast with Blastoise? 192. And I'm at 256. How much speed does he have to be? Uh, He has to be Jolly then. He has to be Timmy because 255 is where he caps out. And we're 256. So he has to be Jolly. Like a lot of speed Jolly. Vessel of Ruin. Thunderbolt. Okay, cool. So he was actually not thun uh, Thunder Wave. T Bolt. Okay, cool. Hey, we take those. Um, Wow, actually, the game could have just been over if I got a Moxie there. I think it's fine. I think I actually think I like our, our position more now. Because uh, we're going to click Body Slam. And this is not resisted. He clicks Focus Blast. We should live this, right? I actually don't know. Oh, we do. Cool. Um, I actually would not mind going down here, but we do know Thunder will die. Um, Tink picks up two this game. Kills, uh, Thundee. So there goes another Prankster. Uh, we will live this turn, actually. Uh, which is maybe better. It's like, what does he go into? Oh, oh, he spun with Blastoise, so he was faster, because he, uh, he clicked Rapid Spin. That's why he was faster. Because I, I, I swear for my calc, he was very bulky. Uh, yeah, but Ting Lu picking up two is uh, honestly really good. Like I said, uh, this mod was going to be good in the matchup. I just, not for clicking... I, I, I don't know. I guess I, I killed Quill and Thundee. Uh, Seiryu. Uh, okay, here is a Baxcalibur. He um, is just going to take an Earthquake here. Uh... Oh, wait. Baxcalibur could just win right now, can't it? Like, I don't really have a mod that's just going to live a hit, right? Maybe Lord Gumdrop lives one. But our belly bolt's low, and it's gonna, uh, it's a little low right now. So what is a plus one Bexcalibur? Uh, let me throw out Tinglu really quick. Tinglu, it's better to click Earthquake uh, here, because it hits always. Yeah, it's better to click Earthquake here, as he does dance. Okay. So it's D, D. Okay. And we will go down to our, our, our poison here. And if not, then I made a grave mistake. But it does 50. Okay, cool. Taking it down to 50 is good. Yeah, but we should die. It should do 40, 41. Okay, cool. So that means uh, Quill kills Ting. Okay, so Lord Gumdrop should always live a hit from Bexcalibur. Right? It should always live an Earthquake, I think. Oh, no. It, it literally does not. Mmm, that's tough. Mmm, that's real tough. Mm, that's really tough. Mm. I think we just lose, actually. Did we literally lose off rip? I think I go gumdrop. Oh, wow. Yeah, because my belly bolt's a little little too damaged now, I think. To comfortably live a, a hit. Yeah, because it's at plus one. Glaive rush will kill. So we have to go belly bolt for sure. Belly Bolt's only good versus Mana anyway, so, like, we should might as well. Like, we might as well go Belly Bolt here. And we'll live in Earthquake, so he has to click Glaive Rush. Like, a Glaive Rush is the only thing that'll do it uh, from here. Oh, but we don't deal any damage back. Oh, shit. I just realized we are walled. So we were supposed to switch into it, but we're walled. Oh, that's tough, actually. So it doesn't even matter if we live a hit or not. I'm gonna click Bolt here. He clicks Glaive. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, good. Well, not good. I think we do. I think we just lose right now. Because uh, our we honestly we were walled the entire time. Wow, that was really bad prep on my part. Kills, uh, belly. Yeah, every mon's gonna die now. I believe we have to go gumdrop. It just has the best chance. We because we know it's DD glaive rush. It's probably dual stab EQ. Does glaive rush just kill my guy? My slow king. Oh, Glaive Rush just kills anyways. Like, if he's if he's jolly and not adamant, maybe? We have a very small chance to live. No, we just lose, actually. Wow, I didn't. I, I heavily, heavily, heavily messed up in prep versus this mon. We're actually going to get swept right now, mid-game. That's actually really unfortunate for us, too. Uh, Sludge Bomb will kill, but... Uh, yeah, he's just going to click Earthquake here. Or, I mean, Glaive, like I said, Glaive just, should just kill. 
Because we're spud F and we're not fizz If we're fizz def, we live this. Maybe I should have went fizz def then and respected the mod more, but now e EQs and just gonna kill everything. Um, yeah, there's no point of calcing. We lose. Uh, we have no ability to win this game anymore. Uh, we actually just lost. Good game. Uh, over to KJ. I really did not think that this mod would come in so fast and win. I think it's because I heavily underestimate Vex Calibre, I guess. I don't know. It just cooks DD. Um, I don't know what we could have done different. Yeah, Glaver's just gonna kill. Yeah, no, he just sweeps. Uh, at least the game's done fast and I get to go take a nap. That is the good news. Uh, we'll learn from this mistake. We will not lose to a Baxcalibur again. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. We just... I, I don't know. We just did not... Uh, it's because our fairy is Fez and Dippity. Yeah, I should I should have saw this more in prep. I should have uh, went fairy on my belly bolt. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not do that. Uh, yeah. So we just lose. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick 4. A swift 4-0 loss. But that's okay. Um, I don't really mind. We're still early in the season. Um, we're we're going to be on the lower end of teams, but that's A-OK -okay with me. Uh, we will bounce back. Uh, yeah, there's not really much to say. Uh, this was a good bring by him. I just... I'm trying to think what I could have done differently. I don't know, man. It just feels like that ba this Bax actually does just come in and kill everything. Uh, every time. So, um, yeah, no, we should have prepped differently. We definitely needed to respect Max Caliber more. Uh, but yeah, good game over to, to KJ, and I will catch you guys uh, next week. Uh, yeah, only 16-minute battle, so <laughs> not too bad. Uh, I'll catch you guys later.